ओके सो वेलकम नेक्स्ट लेक्चर लेक्चर ट्वेंटी से कंटिन्यूएसन ऑफ द लेबल सी पेस्ट एंड डिजीज मैनेजमेंट सो सो अर्लियर लेक्चर वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द बायो कंट्रोल्स बायोलॉजिकल कंट्रोल एंड यूज ऑफ बॉटनिकल पेस्टिसाइड इन ब्रीफ ओनली एज ए स्टार्टिंग सो इन दिस लेक्चर विल डिस्कस इन डिटेल हाउ द बॉटनिकल पेस्टिसाइड द प्लांट बेस्ड प्रोडक्ट्स कैन बी यूज एंड देयर फॉर्मुलेसन कैन बी प्रिपेयर टू कंट्रोल द पेस्ट एंड डिजेस सो दैट इज द लेबल सी पेस्ट एंड डिजीज मैनेजमेंट सो एज यू सी द नीम ऑयल वी आर डिस्कसिंग द एक्शन ऑफ नीम ऑयल्स सो द मोड ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ नीम ऑयल्स सो दिस इज डिस्ट्रप्टिंग और इनिविटिंग डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एक्स लार्भा एंड प्यूपा सो सेकेंडली ब्लॉकिंग द मोल्टिंग ऑफ लार्भा और द नीम्स मीन्स द इट कैन अफेक्ट और इट कैन रिड्यूस द मोल्टिंग मीन्स द यूजली द इनसेट दे टू चेंज देर द आउटर सेल्स और द फिदर्स एंड यूज ऑफ द नीम ऑयल्स हैविंग नीम ऑयल्स दे कैन ब्लॉक द Uh, molting of the leaves so that the growth is also restricted uh, of the uh, um, of the insect and pest then disrupting mating and the sexual communications uh, by using the uh, neem based products then repelling the larva and the adults deterring female from laying eggs and the feeding sterilizing the adults poisoning larva and the adults then inhibiting the formation of chitin that, that is a uh, the sperm in the cell outer cell cell wall this is a uh, constituent of the cell walls so that formation is also uh, uh, affected so these are the uh, actions of the neem neem oils uh, in the insect pest and diseases um, by which it can repel or it can make the paralysis of the insect pest knock down of insect insect pest and can control uh, many insect pest and diseases and population can be reduced how to make neem formulations usually uh, you can ground 30 g of uh, uh, neem kernel uh, that is the seed i can see the uh, there is a seed of which the seed coat has been removed only the inner the seed portions that can be grounded dried and the grounded and can be mixed in 1 liter of water 30 g of neem uh, dried powder of neem kernel in 1 liter of water that can be mixed and leave that solution overnight that can keep for 12 hours the next morning you can filter the solutions through a fine cloth and still with uh, still add with little soap powder and it can be sprayed in the afternoon hours or you can so you can uh, you can filter it such way that the gap should be by after filtration and spraying the gap should not be it will be only 4 hours gap and should be sprayed immediately but in the afternoon hours because spraying neem oil the morning hours it is exposed to daylight and the effectiveness is reduced because the the compounds are deactivated by the sunlight so uh, by using these solutions the 30 g of uh, powder neem uh, 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 kernel using 1 liter of water that leave it for the overnight and next day you can filter the solutions and this can be directly spread without any dilution directly spread in the crop field so by spraying this you can do uh, in a uh, weekly interval interval so that this as a preventive measure we can control many pest and diseases in case of organic farming or organic pest management usually we do have it like preventive measures we don't wait for the pest or the disease to appear then you can go on spraying so this is a regular spraying having the neem solutions you can spray it regularly uh, once in a week in the field so that the pest and disease infestation can be reduced the other one uh, is a neem as a pyrethrin or the pyrethrum that that is a produced from this uh, these are the insecticidal chemicals extracted from dried pyrethrum flower that is a chrysanthemum flower you can see this is the flowers uh, Uh, this is the pyrethrin the compounds and this is produced from the chrysanthemum flowers pyrethrum flowers the pyrethrins the flower heads are processed into powder to make dusts and this dust can be used directly or infused in the water to make a spray then pyrethrins uh, cause uh, immediate paralysis to most of the insects low dose do, uh, uh, don't kill but have a knockdown effect Uh, and the stronger dose may kill the insect the pyrethrins uh, break down very quickly 
uh, in sunlight. So, uh, like like neem oil. So, this also uh, breakdowns in sunlight. This should be applied during the evening hours or the afternoon hours, and also this should be stored in darkness. Should be away from light. The uh, mode of action of pyrethrum. That is, pyrethrins exerts uh, their ex uh, toxic effect by disrupting the sodium and potassium ion exchange process in insect nerve fibers and interrupting the normal transmission of nerve impulses. Pyrethrins insecticides are extremely fast acting and cause an immediate knockdown paralysis in insects. Despite their rapid toxic action, however, many insects are, are able to metabolize pyrethrin quickly. They do uh, the breakdown the pyrethrin quickly. After a brief period of paralysis, these insects may recover rather than die. So, this is the one thing because you know uh, the some insects, many insects, can say many insects they do break down the compounds, compounds and they, uh, they do recover uh, because, because this make a initial knockdown of the paralysis of the insects and some insects they do break down the compounds. So, to prevent this, what, what you do to prevent the insects from metal, metabolizing the pyrethrins and recovering from the poisoning, most of the products containing pyrethrins also contain the synergist that is PBO, piperonyl betoxides. So, this is uh, used in case of the pyrethrin insecticide, so that the, the insects uh, cannot break down these pyrethrins and this PBO that is a piperonyl betoxide, the synergist that is used to, to increase the effectiveness of the pyrethrin insects. Without BPO, the effectiveness of pyrethrins is greatly reduced. And how can prepare the form formulations of uh, this pyrethrin? This uh, pyrethrin powder is made with the dry brown flowers, the, uh, the flowers are dried and brown and to make a liquid uh, uh, pyrethrin extract, mix 20 gram of pyrethrin powder with 10 liter of water. That means, 2 grams per liter of water. So, in a sprayer having 10 liter capacity, 10 liter water. So, 20 gram of pyrethrin powder can be used. Add a soap to make the effectiveness, to make the substance more effective for it spread on, on the leaf canopy and it can be applied immediately as a spray. And usually, when you go for spraying, the spraying should be done in the afternoon hours. So, that this should not be the, so the, the spraying should be effective otherwise it will break down very quickly. For best effective this should be applied in the evening, pyrethrum can also be extracted by using alcohol. So, this is how the, uh, uh, per, uh, the pyrethrum that is say 20 gram of pyrethrum in 10 liter of water or say 2 gram in 1 liter of water and with some soap mix. So, that we can make the effective spray of the liquid solution. So, these are the uh, uh, processes so, obtain the flower heads mix the flower heads with hot water allow the uh, to stand the uh, for one hour strain up the flower, uh, flower heads then add the soap powder and mix then pour the mixtures into a spray bottle and you can spray directly uh, in the, on the crop canopy so uh, this is about the pyrethrin then the rotenone rotenone is an insecticidal compound that occurs in the roots of dairy species in Asia and several other uh, related tropical legumes uh, uh, species from the roots, we can extract this rotenone. Currently, the main commercial source of rotenone is Peruvian Loncocarpus, which is often uh, referred to as a cube root. So, cube roots uh, are the main source of the uh, uh, ro ro rotenone. Rotenone is extracted from the cube root in, uh, in acetone or uh, in ether. The most uh, rotenone products are made from complex resin rather than from purified rotenone itself. Alternately, the cube root uh, may be dried, powdered and mixed directly with an inert carrier to form an insecticidal dust. So, cube roots like we are doing this uh, neem based product either the neem leaf, neem pulp, neem, uh, uh, neem seeds like the, the roots can be dried, the cube roots as uh, that is a that is a the compound uh, rotenone present in the cube roots. So, cube roots may be dried and the powdered and mixed directly and can be also can be carried as insectal dust. Mode of action of rotenone. Rotenone is a uh, powerful inhibitor of cellular respirations. 
So, this is cellular respiration the process that converts nutrients compounds into energy in the cellular level. So, by inhibiting the cellular res uh, respiration, so that that affects the the, the conversion the con that uh, nutrients that energy and uh, the formation energy. So, that way it can it can affect the population of the uh, insect pest. So, in insect retinol extracts it is a toxic effect primarily on nerve and the muscle cells. So, causing rapid uh, cessation of uh, feeding and death occurs uh, several hours to few days of day after exposure. Uh, Rotenon is extremely toxic to fish. So, the, uh, this is often used as a fish poison in water management program. So, to kill the fish the rotenone is used and rotenone works by interfering with the electron transport chain in mitochondria. It produces oxygen free radicals in mitochondria. So, which can damage the DNA and other components in mitochondria. So, that way it can inhibit the population of the uh, uh, insect pests. Then the other one is the nicotine. The nicotine uh, is alkaloid that derived from tobacco, nicotine and tabac tobaccum and other nicotine species. So, nicotine contains around 2, nicotine constitutes uh, let us say around 2 to 8 percent of the dry tobacco leaves that has nicotine. And the insecticidal formulations generally contains nicotine in the form of uh, as a uh, nicotine sulphate is around 40 percent. So, mostly effective against uh, minute uh, soft bodied insects like aphids, white flies, fruit tree borers, termites, cabbage butterfly larva. So, these are the tobacco plants, so which can be uh, used for the production of nicotine such as tobacco, different type of tobacco, the bri tobacco, cigar tobacco, ching tobacco, so, or the hookah tobacco. So, those tobacco can be used for the nicotine production. The mode of action of nicotine. So, uh, uh, in both insects and mammals, nicotine is uh, an extremely fast acting nerve toxin. So, uh, uh, this is a uh, nerve toxin compound. So, it competes with acetylcholine, the major neurotransmitter. Tra the acetylcholine, the neurotransmitter, so it competes with the acetylcholine by bonding the acetylcholine uh, receptors at the nerves synapses and the, and the causing uncontrolled nerve firing. This disruption of normal nerve impulse activity results in rapid failure of those body systems and that depends on nervous, uh, nerves inputs of her proper functioning. So, uh, in insects the action of uh, nicotine is uh, fairly selective and the other one is citrus oil. So, the crude citrus oils and the refined compounds like limonene and linalool are uh, extracted from orange and other citrus fruits. Limonene a terpene that constitutes about 90 percent of crude citrus oil and is uh, purified from the oil by uh, steam uh, distillations. Linalool a terpene alcohol and is found in small quantities uh, in citrus peel and in uh, over 200 other uh, herbs, flowers, fruits and woods. Terpenes and the terpene alcohols are among other major components of many plant volatiles such as essential oils. Essential oils are the volatile compounds responsible for the most uh, taste and the scents of the plants as say. So, how the mode of action of this say limonene or you can say linalool. The actions of this compounds limonene or linalool is uh, um, insects not, not fully established or not fully understood. Limonene is thought to cause an increase in the spontaneous activity of the sensory nerves and this uh, uh, increases the heightened activity uh, that uh, sends the spurious information to motor nerves which is located at the, uh, the central, uh, as a central nervous systems. The uh, motor nerves and results in twitching, lack of coordination and convulsion. So, that is why because you no, know, so uh, that sends some spurious information to motor nerves that located in the central nervous systems. So, that may cause the, the irregular contradictions or the re reflex uh, of the mu muscles and that makes shaking of the body, this conversion the shaking of the body. The central nervous system may also be affected resulting additional stimulations of motor nerves. The massive uh, over stimulations of motor nerves leads to 
rapid knockdown in the paralysis. Adult fleas and other insects may recover from knockdown, however, unless limonene is synergized by PVO. So, that is like uh, this pa pyrethrims also, this is also the synerg synergist PVO is also used in case of the insect side, so that the they could not break down the compound. So, in addition to this as a uh, the plant based products, the, uh, the you can see the as we have discussed the cow is an integral is an integral part of organic farming. So, how we can be use the cow based products in preparation of the, the natural insect uh, pesticides, the natural bio pesticides can be produced by using cow dung or the cow urine in addition to the other plant based products. Uh, so, for example, the using the green chilli and the garlic in cow dung and the, uh, the cow urine, you can prepare the products which can be used as a spray that control the insect pest many the several the broad spectrum of insect pest and diseases in addition to supplying the nutrition or the nutrient requirement for the crop growth and development. The formulation is the 100 liter of water, 10 liter of urine, 1 kg green chilli. 500 gram local uh, garlic powder by uh, by using 100 liter of water with 10 liter urine 1 kg green chilli 500 gram of garlic powder it can be kept for boiling after boiling then filter the solutions and keep for fermentation for one week so, after, after that we can go for the spraying directly on the crop field and it can be sprayed regularly once in a week, so that it can control the broad spectrum of insect pest and diseases. So, um, as in organic farming the we are we can cattle is a part of the integral component of the organic farming of the cow is an integral part of organic farming. So, cow dung the cow urine, so that, uh, that has a tremendous effect on controlling the harmful insect pest and diseases because cow, cow dung has a very good insectal properties. So, using the cow dung and the cow urine as like the cow urine like the 100 liter of water with 10 liter of urine, 1 kg green chili and 500 gram of garlic this can be prepared for more they can prepare in their own field own uh, you can prepare and can use and this. So, there is hardly any cost is involved for this process. And the other one uh, using the neem and cow dung and urine together. You can see the 100 liter of water, 5 liter of urine, 5 kg neem leaves and 5 kg cow dung. So, they are mixed together because uh, the neem leaves that is a chopped neem leaves and the cow dung, cow dung is they are mixed together, then the leaf for fermentations for one week. After one week this can be filtered and can be sprayed directly in the crop field. So, this way uh, this also uh, this can control of the can control also many uh, pests and diseases. The other formulations see the seed treatment. So, when you go for seed treatment how organically uh, without using the synthetic pesticides, synthetic fungicides we can go for seed treatment using the cow dung, cow urine and water. So, say water 20 liter, desi cow dung 5 kg, desi cow urine 5 liters and lime 50 grams. These are ingredient can be used for seed treatment. 5 kg cow dung, 5 liter cow urine and 20 liter water they are mixed together then make filtration this one with the filtrations are 50 gram of lime. Then it can be applied to the seeds, seed can be treated with the solutions, so that the it can so seed bond diseases like fungal diseases can be taken care. The soil treatment see the uh, for the uh, uh, water we can have the 200 liters of water with desi cow dung 10 kg, desi cow urine 
फाइव टू टेन लिटर्स जगेरी टू के जी फ्लोर ऑफ एनी पल्स दैट्स टू के जी हैंडफुल ऑफ सॉइल फ्रॉम फार्म और फॉरेस्ट सो सिंग विथ टू टू हंड्रेड लीटर ऑफ वाटर सो दीज आर मिक्स टूगेदर टेन के जी टेन के जी काउडंग टेन लीटर काउरिन टू के जी जगेरी टू के जी पल्स फ्लोर एंड हैंडफुल ऑफ सॉइल सो दिस पल्स फ्लोर एज ए फूड मेटेरियल्स फॉर द ग्रोथ ऑफ द बेनिफिशियल माइक्रोव्स जगेरी ऑल्सो एंड द सॉइल इज ऑल्सो सॉइल इज सॉइल इज एडेड देयर सो दिस मिक्सचर यू कैन मेक ए फिल्ट्रेशंस देन यू गो फॉर द फर्मेंटेशंस एंड दिस कैन बी अप्लाइड विद द इरीगेशन वाटर टू द क्रॉप फील्ड सो दिस कैन ट्रीटेड बिकॉज बाय डूइंग दैट दिस कैन बी द क्रॉप फील्ड कैन बी इरीगेटेड विद दिस सोल्यूशंस एंड दिस कैन बी प्रिपेयर फार्मर्स हिमसेल्फ कैन बी कैन प्रिपेयर इन द इन दर ओन इन द होम and the materials are all available and this uh, because the the cow urine and the cow dung jaggery and the pulse flower so by doing so uh, by applying in the field uh, we, can, we we are, we are supplying the many nutrients like the macronutrients micronutrients are required for the crop along with so many micro the beneficial microorganisms they are they are reared here in the process fermentation process many beneficial like microorganisms they are also released in the field and they can um, also they can they can affect the harmful uh, they can control the population of any harmful insect pest uh, pest and diseases and doing that one as you are um, uh, we can by doing so regularly if you can spray this one in the in the field using irrigation water so there you can minimize not only the uh, fertilizer requirement the nutrient requirement as you are not going for any uh, synthetic uh, fertilizers so by doing so by organic way uh, in addition to the uh, compost applications this way we can also add nutrient to the soil that can enrich the soil status that can improve the soil sta soil status soil quality at the same time we can protect uh, from uh, many pests and diseases so so here uh, in this uh, lectures as we have discussed the uh, level c that say uh, botanical pesticides or the use of the uh, by preparing the formulations by in the farm uh, farmer can prepare himself in the formulations by the local way using either the chillies garlics uh, or the neem leaves or the neem seeds by the by the uh, powdered neem seeds neem seeds or the chrysanthemum uh, flower, flower dried flowers those things can be can be grown can grown in the field or those things can can be collected and they can be used preparation of this uh bio pesticides are uh, the botanical pesticides pesticides for controlling many type of uh, pest and diseases in the crop field uh, so the, the the as as you see in uh, if you go for the uh, because as i discussed from the very beginning the concept of organic farming that's a minimum are the no use of the of farm inputs so recycling of the on farm the farm resources whatever available and using the local way i uh, by by having, having the cows in the uh, cows in the farm farmhouse by using the cow dung cow the cow dung is a, you know uh, that's a uh, very effective as a insecticidal properties because uh, uh, it it has a high insecticidal pro properties like cow urine also they are very valuable for the for, for the farmers for the agricultural purpose uh, for controlling a broad spectrum insect pest and diseases so uh, so by by the, by this lecture i, I think so you will be able Uh, to make the formulations of the um, bio pesticides uh, the microbial insecticides uh, especially the bio pesticide from the plant based products can be prepared uh, that can be in the farm itself and that can be used in the farm regularly so unlike the synthetic uh, uh, pesticides they can be used once in a week either the neem based products or the cow dung local based products uh, as you, as you have shown here they can be uh, done they can um, they can be prepared and used once in specially we advise to uh, to use this in the afternoon hours in the evening hours so that especially for the pest and disease purposes because in the sunlight most of the bio based products they break down in the direct sunlight so to keep them away from sunlight can be used in the evening hours or the after, after evening hours uh, to protect the uh, pest and diseases effective effectively with this i uh, complete this lecture okay Th thank you thank you very much uh so um, by doing this uh, uh, by um, local way 
by using local resources uh, having the cows, cow dung, cow urines, neem or the green chilli, garlic, even the, the as you discussed chrysanthemum flowers or the uh, nicotian tobacco from tobacco. So, the formulations can be prepared and that can be used with a less cost as the uh, cost that can uh, as compared to the chemical pesticides or chemi chemical uh, synthetic pesticides the cost is very very minimum or we can say we can say very uh, um, uh, very low cost because uh, because everything is available in the farm except few items like jaggery and pulse flower which has to be purchased only very less amount so the farmers can the minimum cost uh, i can control the insect pest and diseases so um, so there are some precautions uh, that are to be followed so uh, use of the plant extracts the some botanicals uh, may be uh, dangerous for uh, humans and they can uh, be very toxic to natural enemies. So, nicotine uh, for example, derived from tobacco plant uh, is one of the most toxic organism uh, poisonous for humans and other warm blooded animals. So, pyrethrins are not poisonous for humans and warm blooded animals. So, before a new botanical pesticides is applied in the large scales, so its effect on the ecosystem should be tested in small field experiments. So, I uh, do not uh, use botanical pesticide as a default option, but you need to uh, test this one. So, before applying a small field experiment, do not have direct skin contact with the crude extract during the process of preparation and applications and contact with the uh, plant extract should be avoided in the eyes. So, make sure that uh, you place the plant extract out of the reach of children and during storage. So, we wear the protective clothing. So, uh, while applying the extract, so it should be protect your eyes, mouth, nose and skins. Uh, then wash your hands uh, after handling the plant extract. So, this is a very precaution for a for insecticide pesticide when you do use. So, before use you should be very cautious and after also use you should follow some of the procedures. So, that you can keep yourself free from any any adverse effect of the even if the uh, bio pesticides. So, so, uh, so this uh, this chapter uh, this uh, by uh, uh, having this lecture, I will be able to learn sub, uh, the the usefulness of the of the extraction process of the botanical pesticides and um, their formulations and how this can be effectively used as a dose and also time of applications so that you can take care of your the pest and disease very effectively. Okay, thank you very much. Mm.